Hello, this is Steve Geisher with LMI Solutions Parts, now bringing you another tech tip. What I want to talk about today deals with power. No, not that kind of power. We're talking about electrical power, dealing with the machines. I recently had a conversation with a student in class. He worked on copiers, and he was noting on some of the newer technology, some of the extra steps that are required for them to do service and not damage boards. Well, I thought this rather interesting, and I thought, hmm, maybe I should do a little bit more research and do a little finding myself. And I did. And looking at some of the newer technologies, I've got the M607, 8 or 9, or this M631, 32, 33, just naming off a couple of current models, that the process for replacing, say, the formatter or other smart boards inside the machine, logic type of boards inside the machine, is different. Their recommendation is, I need to turn off the power, okay. I need to unplug the machine, okay. And then I need to wait 30 minutes. Wait a minute, 30 minutes? Um, if you're out doing a service call, that becomes an issue. Uh, 30 minutes can be a long time to not be able to do stuff on the machine. Maybe I can clean the unit, maybe it can inspect other things, but you know, if I gotta get service calls done, this creates an issue here. So what's going on? Well, let's take a look. We're now looking at the formatter. So side of the machine, the M8608 that we had here earlier, uh, some of the newer technology again, and I want you to notice this green flashing light down in the corner here, it blinks on and off. I know it's dark, I had to make it more dark so that you can actually see what's going on here. The back side of this, there's a picture of a heart. So this is the heartbeat light of the formatter. So when it flashes green on and off like this, it's saying, hey, Life is good, things are doing fine. When it turns amber, uh, when it flashes quickly or slows down, it's trying to give us more clues to what's going on. Or if it flashes red or goes red, or I got nothing at all, these become clues. How is the formatter doing? So good information here. So getting back to our topic, talking about power, I want you to notice something. I'm going to turn off the power, number one. And as the power goes off, you can see the heartbeat light is flashing a little bit quicker. And I'm going to unplug the machine as well. And as I unplug the machine, oh, look, it just went dead. But if you keep your eye on that same spot, you're going to notice that every once in a while, I get a little flash of light. Did you see that? So looking down on this area, trying to point to it, there's another one. So I've got that little flash of light that's taking place. But I've got the machine turned off and I've got it unplugged. Why is it still doing this? Because there's still residual power in here. The way that these machines work is that we've got power. The power switch here is an electro electrical switch. It's not the rocker switch. It's not the physical hard switch. There's an electronic switch that goes back to the main boards here. So in order to fully discharge this, HP says wait 30 minutes, or I might recommend the next step is turn the power on, leave it unplugged. So the plug does not go in, but I'm just going to turn the power. When I do that, I want you to listen and watch. Did you hear that? Did you hear the motor start to turn a little bit? In other words, it discharged the power from the power supply. And now I'm looking at the formatter board and, oh, the light got really dim and then it went out. I've now discharged the basic power from the machine. And now I can start working on the machine so I don't have to worry about the damage to the boards. So now that we've gone through the process, we've actually seen how the light turns off once we power the machine back on. While it's unplugged, we heard the motor kick in. This is pretty important information. How many machines have you theoretically worked on to only go, oh shoot, did I damage the machine myself by unplugging wires? Gee, why is that light flashing on the formatter? Okay, you're getting the clue here. You're getting the point here. So on the newer technologies, this is good extra steps. Turn off the power, unplug the unit, turn the power back on again. Now, if you're, you've got an older technology and it does nothing, okay, well, you really haven't lost anything at that point in time. But the newer stuff, you know, I'm turning on the power, I listen to the motor turn over, ooh, there was power in there. I can even look at that formatter light flashing, see if there are any little tweaks that are going on there. Other boards, you won't see that. So that's something I would key in on just to make sure that those little flashes of the light are gone because then the power is off, the power is discharged. And it's now safe to work on the machine and take out the major components, more specifically the logic boards. So 
With that, this is Steve Geishert with another tech tip from LMI Solutions Parts Now.